Hello, this is Julie here to show you how to make a paper piece project out of a coloring page. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is Google coloring pages. Type in coloring pages, then you can get all kinds of free coloring pages for kids. Lots and lots of options show up. You can look at images and then choose from whatever you want. Now what you're looking for is something that doesn't require a lot of different colors. I don't know about you, but as for me, if a, if a design is going to require more than a few colors, three or four, it's going to take too much of my time to to bother with. So I'm looking for a pretty simple design that doesn't require a lot of extra work. Now if it's something that you would really really want and it has lots and lots of small pieces and you're willing to work with a lot of small tiny little pieces that's fine. But what I want to do today is take something like this turtle. I'm just going to click on it to make it bigger. Then right click and copy image. If you get a nice big picture like most coloring book pages are, they're pretty simple to bring in to make the cut. Now this is the paper piecing project that I ended up with, so I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to open an empty page and make the cut. I'm going to click on the pixel trace icon at the center top of the screen and click on paste. So what I just copied to my clipboard is going to show up here in the pixel trace window. The nice thing about coloring pages is that they come in nice and dark with the, with the default settings. So all you have to do is click on import and finish tracing. Now we have the design to work with. It's nice and big. The first thing I like to do when I'm doing a paper piece project from a coloring page is to use the layer button at the bottom of the page, the sixth icon from the left, and that create that takes off the outside line and puts it on a layer of its own. So if I click the center of the design and send it to a new layer by clicking on the smaller of the two green plus icons in the lower right corner, then I can hide the bottom layer by clicking on the eye icon and that's going to be the background on which everything else is glued once I finish cutting it out. Now I need to separate all these pieces so that I can color them the way I want them to be colored for the project. To separate them all I'm going to use break and now I'm going to start selecting individual pieces to change their color. I'll select the body first and send it to its own layer and click on the color icon and choose a color. I'll just make this tan. Now that I've changed that one I'm going to hide it and I see there's a little tongue there. I'm going to select it, send it to its own layer and color it red and hide it. Now with the eye I could either use it as is or what I like to do with tiny tiny pieces like that is combine them with a larger piece to cut a hole in it rather than play with little pieces to stick them on. This way when it's on top of the black background it's going to show black anyway. So this is, um, I clicked on join to join the eye with the body so that it would all cut as one. So now I can hide the body. Now these are kind of hard to see so I like to make them all a lighter color. I see that there's some pieces that are spots and some that are not spots and I could make the spots a different color. So what I'm going to do is hold the shift key and click on all the pieces that I want to be one color. I want the center of these 
and just the the these pieces I'm going to join so they all work together as one piece and send them to their own layer then hide that. The pieces that are left I just drag my cursor around them and I'm going to join them. So this is kind of a uh, I'll make all these pieces a contrasting darker green. And now I'm going to get rid of any empty layers by clicking on the trash can at the bottom of the layers. Click on the eye icon and show all. And now I have my paper piece project ready to resize at the size that I need and to cut. So I, I'll just select all. You could click this button here to select all, the lowest left icon on the bottom and you could resize it to a specific size. I'm just going to drag it to fit on a card size. Now when I'm ready to cut, I will click on the eye icon in the lower right corner and hide all except the layer that I'm going to cut. I'll show the layer that I'm ready to cut once I have my colored paper in my cutter and I can cut them one by one. Or I can show them all and I can move different parts to different different colors to different parts of the screen and since I only have five colors I can put scraps of paper on my mat five different colors and I can cut them all at the same time I put my black paper in this corner. I could get about a six by six inch square, or maybe for this piece it would be one, two, three, four, five inches by four inches. And likewise, I can just put these pieces where I need them to be and cut them all at once. Then when I'm done, I'll use Control Z just to stack them all up again so I can remember when I open this file that what it looks like. So I can do um, I save the file and I can save it as um, cute turtle save it as an MTC file. If I would like to export it to SVG I go to File Export Selection to SVG give it a name cute turtle and it will save as an SVG and that's all there is to it. I hope that helps you with your paper piecing projects. Thanks!